Welcome back to the channel. So today we're going to do some unnecessary mods on the Miata. Alright guys, so this is my coil radiator, which is a beast. Withstood a nice little bash into the side. Doesn't leak. Perfect condition. Alright, so this hose from Super Miata is terrible. I hate how it's not routed in the most effective manner. I hate that I have to have three zip ties to make it so that it kind of stays where I want it to so it doesn't chafe up on something. So today, we're going to get rid of this hose and we're going to swap it over to this hose. This is a cobalt ho hose that is bent, formed, however you want to say it, to be able to accomplish the task better. Also, so one thing I don't like about the Miata as well is the how the fuel lines kind of route and how they work. So I got this. I may or may not be doing this at the moment, but that's coming soon. So this is going to replace this to make the engine bay look better, cleaner, and actually like it's kind of supposed to be there. Let's get going. So this is our original hose, as you can see it definitely did the job, but it's just one really long straight hose. I had to put this little bend here so that it would actually turn down what? Um, away from the intake. But now we can get rid of this. We're still going to need this piece here because that is where my temperature sensor is. Alright, we're going to get our first look at what this might look like. So bear with me. Kind of slide her in and see what she be. So far, I'm definitely liking what I'm seeing. So I'm thinking I'm gonna have to cut this to be as flush as possible. Because as you can kind of see, this will go on there. But by the time all said and done, it would stick out to about here, which again is too close to the intake. I literally want this to end. You can get a better right look. Here. I want this to basically sit right here so that turn is going to be right out of this neck, just like that, which will give us just enough room there. And then the goal is to have this kind of sit down in here. This is kind of an interesting one. I didn't really see that coming. Um, but it looks like I'll be able to cut the majority of that off as I want it to sit more like this. So. Now we just get to make it all work. Tools like this one are definitely going to make this job easier so you can get a nice clean cut on your brand new expensive hose. By the way, if I haven't told you, this hose was far too expensive. So also keep in mind, I'm going to be putting this back. I'm going to wait till it gets kind of straight, have it be roughly right about here, have this turned down, and then be able to uh, hook up my wires back wherever they left into the abyss. There we are. And then we'll be able to connect this back to give the AEM a coolant temp sensor uh, because the original one sucked, location sucked. Um, so this is going to go back here, and this is also going to give us that extension, as you can see here, where you're kind of pinching it off again. So this is going to push it back again to allow us to get that shot to the back section. Also, if I haven't mentioned already, 
hose was extremely expensive. Still can't believe it. All right, so here's the finished product. You got a nice S-band to our temperature sensor, back across, and back here to our Super Miata little dilly whacker dang. And uh, all zipped up and ready to go. I moved some hoses around a little bit. I think I want this above this, although I can't really tell. I might actually lengthen this and have it go under it because it's kind of weird that it's over the top and everything else isn't over the top. But you know, that's the kind of stuff you do. I'm replacing this right here with an AN fitting. Um, I just think it's gonna look cleaner and be a little bit nicer, so we're gonna do that and uh, go from there. All right guys, that's it. New hose is in place, looks a lot cleaner, flows a lot better, because I'm not trying to kink it. So, I like it, looks a lot better. Thanks guys, have a good one.